Alrighty guys, what is going on? Link to 9 here and welcome back to another episode of the Purge SMP Season 2. In today's episode guys, I would like to show you guys a few things, one of which DJ has done some more work on spawn, so we're gonna go and check that out today. But firstly, before we do anything, there are a few things that I've done at my house that I would like to show off to you guys. The first of which is I've completed the roof on my house. So if you can see, there's now a roof. If we want to dirt up there and check it out for ourselves, we can do that. So if we go up... Maybe jump into this tree here. You can see that we have completed the roof. It looks very, very good. And I'm very glad with how it turned out. Now, I did have a problem earlier today with zombies spawning on the inside of the roof. Hang on, let me turn my sounds down a bit. But I did have a problem with zombies spawning on the inside of the roof. So, since then, I couldn't sleep. So, I had to bring my bed outside. So, that's why it's outside and not in my house. But I had to get rid of the zombies that were in my roof. So, I think it's that. We can also use that roof space probably in the future as some kind of attic space. Maybe make a stairwell in the house going up to it. So, I think that could be really cool. We also torch there for now. But that's what's ha been happening. The next thing that I've done is I've been breeding the animals more. So, we have, a bunch of new we have a bunch of cows in here now. And we have, I believe, only one sheep. So, what we need to do in this episode possibly is get myself a second sheep so we can start breeding them. But the cows have been breeding really well. I believe we have four cows in here now. Uh, there were two that were bred by the original two. So, we've got a good farm that's beginning here, which should be good in the future. We should have a ton of steak. Next thing, farm doing well. Probably, I might install a second one next to the house. Maybe terraform this land a bit and install a second one. That might be something I might opt to do, so we will have to see about that. But before we go to spawn and check out what DJ has done, we're going to put in a little path connecting the bridge area to the house. And if you look by the bridge area, you'll see that the sugarcane along the sides of the water has grown. Now, my goal is to maybe one day bring it all around the entire lake and make it really look cool. But for now, it's a nice frame to the housing area that we have, and I think it, it's going to turn out nice. We'll move this down a little bit more with the sugarcane. It also works as a functioning farm, but in all honesty, I really have no use for sugarcane until I start enchanting. So keeping this as just something that looks aesthetically pleasing is pretty nice. So now we're going to go get some gravel. Actually, do we have any? No, we don't. We're going to go get some gravel, and we're going to fill it in as a little bit of a pathway from the bridge to the house. Let me just get rid of this first. Now, how much gravel do we have? Um, cobblestone, andesite. We actually don't have any gravel. Let me see. I don't want to have to go get any. So, let me see how... No, we don't want to do that. Let me see how cobblestone would look. Now, I basically... I cut out a bunch of little spots to try to just maybe make like a rugged pathway. That doesn't look all too bad. Maybe put another one here. And then maybe like here, that fits in pretty well. And then maybe make a connecting one here. That could look good. What do you guys think of that? Uh, maybe add, maybe put one here and then add maybe a side one. Like maybe there's, it was a bigger path at one point and another one there. I think that looks pretty neat. That is, that's nice. It's nice. Put one here and then maybe two here. Actually, no, I don't think that, I don't think that would look good. But that looks pretty nice. I think I think that's cool. It leads up to the house. Also, I posted a picture on Twitter of the house yes uh, a few days ago, uh, at, uh, before the last episode went out. Posted a picture of the house, and someone mentioned to me that the house looks like an elephant. And now that I'm thinking about it, they are right. The house does resemble an elephant. If you can't tell, this is the body of the elephant. This is the head. This is the trunk. The legs. It kind of. The house kind of represent, resembles an elephant, so that is, that's a pretty funny thing that someone pointed out to me. And I figured I would share that with you guys since maybe, maybe more than one of you saw this, maybe more than one of you noticed this. But I think it's just funny that people ended up noticing this. Also, I want to put torches here just to keep the lighting going in the house. But that's another thing you guys pointed out to me, and that's pretty funny that I never noticed that. And I think it's cool that you guys see little, little things that I don't really notice. But another thing we have to do, we have to make cobblestone walls. And what I want to do is I want to light up this area. I want to put different walling, different cobblestone walls along the pathway, like so, and make it just seem a bit more, a bit more real. So we're going to put, for now, until we go to the nether, we're going to be using torches because we haven't done the group nether event yet. And I apologize that we just haven't had the time to do it, but we are working on getting the group nether event to happen. So just keep on the lookout. Maybe it'll happen next week. I'm going to be, um, quote unquote working all next week. So I don't know how, how available I'm gonna be. So if there's a group nether event next week, I'm not sure how available I'm going to be, but this is what I wanted to do as well. I wanted to spread out some cobblestone walls and put them along the pathway when we built it. Just lighting leading over to the dock and all that stuff. The dock is really just an aesthetic, 
but I think it looks really nice. I It's such a simple design, like literally all it is is the wood blocks here and then the cobblestone pathway coming out from it, but I think it could look really cool. So that's basically what we've done here at my house, guys, and now I'm going to make a cut and we're going to head over to spawn to see what DJ has been working on. So guys, as I was exploring the desert, going back to spawn, I decided to go a different route. I'm like, I'm going to curve in a little bit to the right and see if we can get there faster. But as I am going, I think you can see it right now, I found a dungeon, an exposed dungeon right in the desert. The acacia biomes there spawns a little bit further. These are my cords right now, but we found a dungeon. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I don't want to harm it. I might do something with this eventually. So I want to dig this out a bit. Let's just jump in. You know, I, I, I don't even care. Let's dig this thing out. Let's torch it. As soon as we get here, it's a zombie dungeon. This is really cool. This is my first dungeon on the server, as a matter of fact, guys. So this is really cool that we were able to find this just exposed in the desert. I'm actually really surprised that no one else has gone to this yet. So we're just going to clear this out here. And there's the first chest. So let's just clear all the sand out. Because you never know, I'm going to save the cords to this. And what I think I'll do is maybe we'll turn this dungeon into a grinder or something. I don't know. The, the possibilities are endless. We now have our own little zombie spawner. So let's just clear this out. It looks like it has two chests in it. So it does need a little work. We'll probably restore it back to what it normally should be. But this is a really neat find, and I think this could be really cool for us. Zombie dungeon. So if we ever get dogs, we can make like an infinite dog food factory or something. Because uh, I, li I like to use uh, rotten flesh whenever I have dogs in on Minecraft. So now that this is all cleared out, I'm going to light up this cave here just to see... What's been going on down here? Does this lead to anything? No, this just leads to more cave. Alright, well, this I love these sandstone caves. They're so cool looking. But here we go. Let's take a look at what we have in these chests. Iron, bucket, wheat, string, redstone, and C4, 18, 13. And in here, we have a bucket, bread. So just a normal dungeon, I suppose. Just some wheat, some iron, all that sort of stuff. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna break these chests here just so people know we have this already. This is really, this is a great find. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to be able to find this. So, let me know in the comments section what we should do with this dungeon, guys. And I think I'll be back again once I get closer to spawn. Alrighty, guys, welcome back. In the past clip, we looked at the cool dungeon that we found, which is really neat. But in this clip, I'm here at spawn. In the previous episode, I don't think DJ had done anything to spawn. But now, he's made some great improvements. As you can see, he has begun to lay out the main spawn area now, if I'm correct. This is where the center of spawn is going to be. It's going to be elevated. There's going to be another portal. If you guys want to see the finished version of spawn, DJ has already built it in a creative single player world. And what he's been doing, he's just copying it. He's just building it one to one for what it is in the single player world. So if you guys want to go over and check it out, I believe it's DJ's newest purge episode as of today, which is Sunday, May, not May. Oh my God, I'm going crazy. July 12th. So you guys can go and check out what spawn's going to finish when the spawn is finished, what it's going to look like. And I, I'm so hyped. It's going to be so cool. Uh, probably when spawns, then we'll do the group nether event because the nether is built directly into the main area of spawn. There's a big portal there. There's a four by four, uh, a big box portal. It's really nice. The other thing that relics and cryogen or someone, I do not know for sure who have done, but they built a little basketball court at spawn. So we now have a basketball court. So maybe me and Fluffy can play some b-ball against each other and I can... I can wreck him in a game of basketball. Or maybe I can play the zombie. Oh, he gave up. But anyway, that's basically what's been happening at spawn. There's a nice bat. I love this basketball court. There's different sidelines. Basketballs. The sign lies to us. There are no basketballs. But I think it's pretty cool. Also, me, Fluffy, and Relics were, like, chasing each other and fighting each other here uh, a few nights ago. And this is the um, this is the remnants. Everybody was blocking along the water. So we'll have to get rid of that. Have to fix that. I might start right now. But... We will get rid of all of this. That way the pond looks nice. I want to do something with the pond. I want to make maybe maybe a sea temple shop this season. There's a sea temple right next to spawn. And I'm not sure if anybody's explored it yet. But if they have, I want to go in and I want to get, grab all of the blocks from the sea temple in the next episode. And I want to just, I want to build a sea temple shop. I think that would be a really cool shop I, I, idea to do. And I'm stumbling over my words because I got to get this clip done pretty quickly. I got to go do stuff today. And I also still have to edit this down. I've got about two hours till the video should be going out. So I should have enough time. But that's what I want to do. I think it's going to be cool. And anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of the Purge SMP server. If you did, please leave a comment down below. As I said before, in the next episode, we'll probably go and tackle the sea, the sea temple that's right off of spawn. And if it's not raided yet, which I think it's already been raided, so that'll make our lives easier. Uh, we'll raid it. But if it's not, I mean, if it already is raided, 
then we're just going to grab all the blocks from it. I'll do like a speed up of me grabbing all the blocks and maybe we'll pick a spot to build our sea temple store. So anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of the Purge SMP. If you did, please sure to leave a like down below. It'd be very much appreciated. The support on the past two videos was absolutely amazing. And I'd love to see the support continue on today's episode. And as always, I've been Nomi Contenshine. I'll see you all in the next video.